Hello everyone. Trust all of you are doing well. My name is Lakshmi None. I'm currently working as an Agile and Jira coach for a banking major in Australia. I'm certified with a Scrum Master, Professional Product Owner, Last Scrum Practitioner, Collaboration Architect, Global Business Leader, to name a few. I also have vast experience of over 20 years in handling complex projects from British Telecom, General Electric, City, Tech Mahindra, Telenet, NAP, etc. Today, I would like to give a high level essence of the course that I am offering to you guys. It's regarding the Scrum Master and Product Owner, which is of a very high demand in the market at the moment. So if you just go to any job portal like LinkedIn and then go to the job section and then just give Scrum Master, give the name of your city, you will be able to see how many new Scrum Master jobs are getting posted. As of today, you can see in UK 35, India 54 today, and uh, in United States, 220 new, Australia, 16 new. So you will be getting a high level understanding of what is the demand of the Scrum Master in your location. And then you have to see what are the skills that the companies are looking for. My course will enable you to master those skills, which will help you to perform your, your role of a Scrum Master or product owner, to crack the interviews and perform your job much better in the interviews. We will start from the basics. We will try to understand how the things have been working in the waterfall methodology all these decades. What are the disadvantages of uh, having this methodology and how Agile came to rescue this one? What are the four values and 12 supporting principles of Agile and, based, and the advantages of Agile? Based on these 12 values and principles, we do have a lot of methodologies and frameworks that got evolved. And from this pie chart, you can see that the Scrum framework is taking holding a major market share. In the Scrum uh, framework, we have around, let me open the slide as well. So, the Scrum framework was built by Ken and Jeff. So, it is a framework which has a three pillars and then five values. And we do have a three roles there product owner, development team, Scrum master. To give you a high level essence of these roles, let me open the picture. I teach normally with pictures so that you guys can connect easily well. So this pink color guy is the product owner. The primary job of the product owner is to gather the requirements uh, from the stakeholders, att attend the workshops, and represents the needs of the stakeholders to the development team in the form of epics and user stories. And he's he also is responsible, he or she is also responsible for managing the product backlog, backlog refinement with the help of development team, many things. Next role is about the development team. This team is a cross-functional team where they have all the skills given any requirement which is meeting the definition of done, definition of ready, they will be able to complete the requirement and then deliver to the customer. And the third role is about the Scrum Master. As a Scrum Master, you hold this entire Scrum framework on your shoulder. You ensure that each and every element is being practiced properly. In this process, you will be coaching the product owner in certain ways. You will be coaching the development team in certain ways, organizations, stakeholders. You will be removing the impediments for the development team. You will be foreseeing the risks, whatnot. My course will help you to understand all the practical challenges that as a Scrum Master you will face and how effectively you can handle those things. So once we identify all the roles, we will go, we will start understanding how the requirements are written in Agile in the form of APICs, user stories, what is the industry best practice? What are the guidelines like, you know, invest criteria and you have three C technique and then acceptance criteria. We will see various examples. Once we understand how effectively we write the requirements, then we will understand what are the different ways, what are the different best practices in the market, how to estimate those requirements. So we have users, uh, we have a story pointing, we have a planning poker technique, we have affinity estimation, we have t-shirt sizing, so on and so forth. So once we understand those things, then we will come to the planning part, how the sprint planning is done how the daily standup is done, review, retrospection. If you see each of my slides, if you just open, uh, I will just try to share one of my slides. Let us say the sprint meeting. Right from the basic, why do we need the planning and then how the planning process will happen uh, in the industry? What is the need for it? 
and in how why do we need this sprint planning meeting and how many parts it's going to happen like sprint planning meeting happens in two parts first part is what second part is how what are the inputs for the sprint planning meeting what are the outputs for the sprint planning meeting as a scrum master you need to do and how the in the part two the tasks are broken down into uh, following the smart methodology and at the end of the session we will be having the question and answer session this q and a are most likely you will be getting in your certifications as well so from the day one i will help you to get up to clear your professional scrum master or product owner my course is going to help you to clear both the certifications so once we come once we have a good level of understanding about the scrum framework we will switch our journey to jira jira if you can just open uh, it is atlassian.com jira is number one tool in the world being practiced by agile teams go to the product section it's a product based company fully agile so if you just click on jira most of these you open your job description they will be asking hey you need to have a good practice hands on or a familiarity of the jira tool so as you can see they broadly claim that's the number one software tool so in my course you are going to do a hands on practice of jira so we will create this is the jira tool we will create a backlog we will write the requirement we will link the requirements to epics we will also link the requirements to the releases you can see the linked requirements just the test data so once it is done how can we do the sprint planning meeting once the sprint planning meeting is done your sprint will become active and how the story is broken down into subtasks how these subtasks are distributed among them uh, among the team members and if you have any blocker how can you raise a red flag uh, so that entire organization can see that you are basically you are making the things the blockers transparent like this as a scrum master you can take an immediate action and then get the things resolved once the sprint is closed as a scrum master how you have how you are going to read the burn down chart velocity chart sprint chart so that you can make them aware team during the retrospection help them to understand about their sprint journey and then help them with the realistic decisions and how they are going to make the next sprint much better so we will be seeing all the charts not only this we will be learning about how to do a basic search how we can do the advanced search and how can we create a filters permissions how we are going to give the notifications bulk search bulk migration loads of advanced practices we are going to do and based on the filters we can also build the latest dashboards which will be having a lot of these gadgets are there it's and they are all completely automated most of the companies are looking for these skills okay so here you can just bring out in an automated fashion the health of the sprint and how many stories are how many issue types are there and who is holding how much uh, what it's a two dimensional filters a burn down chart what are the issues assigned to you Loads of gadgets are there within Jira. I will help you to understand with major gadgets. Not only this, in Jira, I will also help you to understand. For example, in some of the organizations I have seen, for the Scrum Masters, he is he or she was given two teams. One is a development team, another is a support team. One one dev team is using the Scrum boards. The support team they are using the Kanban boards. How can you manage both? So how effectively you can handle the Kanban stuff in Jira? you also will be learning those things okay so once that is done we will switch our journey to understand the confluence another content beautiful collaboration tool introduced by it's another product by atlassian so we will see as a product owner how i will be building the roadmap we all do the hands on exercise and how to write the product requirements in confluence and then how can you retrieve the information from jira to confluence and once let let me open one of the requirements which i'm actively coaching so this is let's assume that if we if the stakeholders want to raise the accounts functionality so we can just clearly see here i am pulling the epic from the jira to confluence and we are going to just use the glitch another plugin in the confluence and 
draw this one and then here we are going to write the requirement and to that requirement what is the respective user story and then importance maybe you can use Moscow technique or whatever the best practice that works for the product owner right? and we also see how the definition of ready definition of done and how actually tracking our retrospective actions important files blogs how can we integrate the third party applications with the confluence whatnot i will help you even with the administration part of the jira and confluence okay so for the scrum master that's going to be a really really of a great value where major companies are looking for those skills especially due to the COVID situation people are working remotely and how jira and confluence are enabling this agility how they are bringing the true transparency and collaboration so you are going to master that that space and then of course you will be in any great demand after learning all these skills just to summarize so all these things so jira and then the confluence so at the end of the so i will be teaching on this go to meeting platform at the end of the day i will be sharing my slides and the recordings in the google drive and then you will be able to download that uh, at your end within 24 hours so you will, we are going to practice the jira and confluence in the cloud version and you also will be able to complete the professional scrum master and product owner certifications which are highly valued and lifetime valued uh, in the market and mostly desired by the companies i will also help you to prepare with your resume preparation and then uh, because i am the interview panel member i know what are the kind of questions that we will be asking for the scrum master so I can help you with the mock interviews and then help you to perform better even in the interviews as well. Not only that one, as a Scrum Master, you need to have a good skills like how you are going to manage the capacity of the team member. How can you just to see what is the available capacity at the sprint planning meeting and how you are going to measure the agile maturity of the teams as they mature. So that will give how, what is the contribution that you are making to the team? How you are helping the team with their continuous improvement? So we are going to record this agile maturity maybe every quarter based on certain frequency. And we will see how the spider web pictures are there. Maybe you can record them even in the confluence as well. And as a Scrum Master, I will also help you to prepare the skill matrix. There is a different matrix and uh, there is a uh, these are the uh, different metrics like you know planning effectiveness velocity unplanned stories how you are going to record and how they are going to produce the charts so let us say for example velocity so here you can see on an average 150 how this is helping me as a product owner i can pragmatically uh, give a commitment to my stakeholder that at any point of time my cross-functional development team they are capable of delivering 150 story points Tomorrow, if I get an epic of uh, 600 story points, I can confidently commit that it's going to take four sprints, data driven decisions, empirism. And even it is going to help my development team to practically commit at the sprint planning meeting to product owner. It is going to help with their planning effectiveness. So we are going to have an in depth understanding of each and every concept with respect to the practical part as well, which is very much required. So if you just understand the theory and if you just do the certification uh, with my experience, I'm just giving you a honest opinion. It's not going to help you to crack the job or even if you crack the job, it may not be helping you to perform your job better once you take up the job. Okay, so we need to understand all this practical part, then you can effectively and you can efficiently excel in your job. Okay, friends, so that's all I want to summarize. For if you are interested in detailed demo, please reach me on this number. I am based out of Australia. So you can just give the country code plus 61041251 My email is reachnune at gmail.com. I will be happy to provide you a detailed demo, any clarify any question and answers. As I said, my support doesn't end with the just classes. Even when you attend the interviews, you are going to do a retrospections with you and then I will also help you to perform even better in the interviews. Right? Thank you very much uh, for your time and have a wonderful day. Bye.
I was looking for real time or live scenarios which were all included in his training. Lakshmi is an amazing teacher. He is very committed to his teachings. His sessions are lively and gives you a lot of uh, real time scenarios. Uh, his vast knowledge on Jira also helped me get skilled in Jira, creating automated dashboards. I am from non IT background, but now through his uh, concepts and real time scenario, I'm a proud, certified professional scrum master and a product owner. I encourage everyone to give him a try because you will never regret it. He has impacted knowledge into me. I took his training 